Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, the Bald Explorer, and today I am standing on a bridge overlooking the River Thames, and in fact, I'm visiting Abingdon on Thames, or Abingdon for short. It's now in Oxfordshire, it's about six miles from Oxford, but until the 70s, it was in fact in Berkshire. This is the River Thames over here, and beyond this, there is, or was, Abingdon Abbey. And that's the main reason that I'm here. I've come to uh, meet up with Tim Miller, who is the curator. Now, that's gonna be in a separate video. We're gonna go and look at the remains of the Abbey, what's there, and, and what it is that he curates. However, for this video, I thought I would simply do a walk into Abingdon from the bridge. It's a very busy um, road this, as you can tell. I'm just going to dive across. And I'm filming first thing in the morning on a weekday. So there will be a few cars and bits and bobs. But first of all, here we are. Look how wide the, the river is behind me. Great stretch with canal boats and other pleasure boats that you can hire uh, and drift up. In fact, all the way up to Oxford and people do that, take those pleasure trips. Just crossing a very nice pub called the Nags Head, which is right on the bridge. And then as you can see here, coming up the, uh, the sign, which welcomes us to Abingdon on Thames. Now, this is a bit precarious, because again, I've got to somehow cross the road. I'm go now. That's the bit I take my life in my hands. However, I've got to cross. And here we see also a, a much nicer view looking up of the Thames here. It's terrific. On the other side of the bridge there is Abingdon Jail. Now that was completed in 1811 by Napoleonic prisoners. So they built basically their own jail, which is rather fantastic. And then in the distance beyond, we see the spire of St. Helens, which is the parish church. I'm gonna carry on up, up to the town. There's another pub on the other side of this bridge called the Broad Face, and I'm just coming up to it now. It's called Broad Face, apparently, um, because when people are hung, their face swells out, so I'm told. And this is a place where hangings took place, down here somewhere, back in the day. Now, if we look this way, there's a mill stream. There used to be the Abbey Mill. It was along here. You've got a parade of uh, very nice Georgian houses along there now. But there was a mill stream, and then beyond that, the Abbey grounds. And of course, the Abbey was uh, the, the main reason that the town exists. I'll talk about that in another video. We carry on up Bridge Street, actually named, past this sign here, which has no plaque in it, and then the Broad Face pub itself. Here we go, there's some, some words here. It says the Broad Face is at the junction of Bridge Street, which we saw goes back as far as 1734. Mystery surrounds the origin of Broadface name. Some say it's to do with the riverside location. More colorful are the theories that it alludes to the swollen face, as I said, um, of people, oh, people hanged at the jail, it says. So who knows? We'll carry on walking up despite all the, the cars. On the opposite side of the road, we have the county police station, which is now masked by these cars, which is a very nice, large and substantial uh, what looks like some sort of sandstone building there. And then we'll come up towards the market square, going past the Crown and Thistle, which is on my right. Just have a little poke in here. Look at this, this looks very nice, isn't it? Cobbled Street. Up to what looks like stables behind me. They're probably getting it ready for breakfasts 
for people who stayed through this archway and then up into the market square but before we get to the market square and all the lovely Georgian fronted shops I know that uh, Abingdon dates back to the Saxon period and there was a settlement here but the the buildings and architecture that you see now really dates from I suppose Tudor period onwards there are some timber frame buildings there's going to be Tudor um, buildings with Georgian frontages just here to have a quick look we are on uh, the hospital of St John Outwith at the Abbey Gate so at one point this was um, a medieval grammar school by the looks of things and um, a hospital so um, you know uh, a hospital for the from dating back to the time of the monks beautiful um, architecture here with these windows so this would have been I imagine where the pilgrims and visitors and people who needed uh, a bed for the night travelers would have come because abbeys were effectively the sort of travel lodge of their day if you were a traveler you you could uh, spend the night but not actually inside the gates of the abbey but um, on the on the outside as it were now we're going to come into the square but before we go into the square just want to show you the abbey gate so i'm walking now down towards what would have been the entrance the main grand entrance to the abbey through this rather wonderful gate and actually as i come through this vaulted ceiling of the gate i just tilt up like that so you can see iron rusted iron remains of the um the hinges where big obviously big probably oak uh, doors would have been here and then you've got separate doors either side which presumably the monks and the workers who were working in the abbey grounds would have come through and here a doorway which presumably is uh, for the monks uh, should they need to come in to the church here which wasn't the the monks church this was the uh, Saint Nicholas and if I get back a little bit you'll you'll see a little bit of the Saint Nicholas church and this was really again as I say for the for the lay people who worked at the church the rest of the people of the vi of um, Abingdon would have gone to Saint Helens but before I leave the gate, I just want to point up and show you some of the amazing um, gargoyles and grotesques that are above. There's a pig and there's various faces of uh, what looks like judges' faces, maybe. They could have been members of um, the, uh, the elite, I suppose, in, in Abingdon. Um, gargoyles this side with the spouts pointed, if you look very carefully, that it, so that the water would have shot out here but where I'm standing you you can't see it now but there was a, a runoff I think from the from the Thames and the mill stream and there was a little bridge along here and this bit of um, masonry here reveals that actually there was a there was a bridge across so we and the, the river is still under or the stream is still under there Let's go into the Market Hall to finish off, into the Market Square rather, because there's something rather impressive that I want to show you. Again, I've got to just quickly cross over the road, which here is a bit nice, but we can get a, a view up this street whose name eludes me. Let's cross over here and then past this maple tree. I think it's a maple tree. It might be a London plain actually, but we'll come into the Market Square and there the uh, piece de resistance, if you like, the wonderful uh, old town hall built in Baroque style and completed in 1683. Um, <coughs> Pevsner said of it when he was traveling around looking at the architecture of Britain, he said as one of the, uh, of all the freestanding market halls, this was simply the grandest and you can see why it's absolutely stunning shall we go in and have a look 
it's built very high on these pilasters these big um, columns if you like but the pilasters that are that are holding it up again with faces carved into it I'm just going to rush in front of this truck and then come through into the underside here it is a it is just utterly staggering and of course when it was built there would have been a marketplace here a market would have been in full swing um, fairs and markets took place in Abingdon no doubt as is traditional I'm imagining there would have been um, a dairy market here with cheeses and milks and all the dairy products inside and over there of course where I was was the, the market square above on these great big beams that we see um, there was the, the town hall and uh, it, an assize was taking place here so you know uh, um, a court a law court so it's, it's it's incredible now it houses a museum which would be fascinating to go in if one had time so I'm going to end today's video here by this wonderful and amazing building in Abingdon on Thames do join me again when I'm going to meet Tim Miller who's going to take me around the Abbey but we'll end with a view behind me of the wonderful um, St Nicholas Church and the Abbey Gate and in the next video we'll go inside. Hope you enjoyed this little impromptu walk. Do join me on the next one. Don't forget to follow, like, subscribe, become a patron and all that sort of stuff and I'll see you next time. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.